Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of Sigma males. You know the type, they're the lone wolves, the quiet achievers, the ones who always seem to be one step ahead. They're not loud or flashy, but there's an aura about them, an unspoken power that you just can't ignore. We're gonna break down 14 reasons why you should never mess with a Sigma male. These dudes are a different breed, man. They operate on a whole other level, and you need to understand what you're dealing with. So buckle up, because we're about to take you on a deep dive into the mind of a Sigma male. You might learn a thing or two about yourself along the way. First off, these guys are independent as hell. They don't need your approval, your validation, or your permission. They're not looking to follow the crowd or be part of the herd. They forge their own path, man. They're comfortable being alone, comfortable with their own thoughts, and they're not afraid to stand out from the crowd. They're not followers, they're leaders, even if they're leading in silence. This independence makes them incredibly strong-willed and determined. They don't rely on others for their happiness or success. They make their own luck, their own destiny. You try to control them, try to box them in, they'll disappear faster than you can blink. They're not here to play your games, man. They're playing their own game, and they're playing to win. Which brings us to number two, self-reliance. These guys are the definition of self-made. They don't wait around for someone to do things for them, they figure it out themselves. They're resourceful, they're adaptable, and they're always prepared. They've got that MacGyver-like ability to handle any situation, no matter how unexpected. They don't need a safety net, they are the safety net. They trust themselves to handle whatever life throws at them, and that self-reliance is a powerful thing. It's like, they've got this inner strength, this unshakable belief in their own abilities, and that's what makes them so damn formidable. And speaking of formidable, let's talk about their confidence. These guys ooze it, man. Not in an arrogant, douchey way, but in a quiet, self-assured way. They know their worth, they know their strengths, and they're not afraid to own it. They don't need to brag or boast, their actions speak louder than words. They walk into a room, and they command attention without even trying. It's like they've got this invisible force field of confidence that draws people in. And the best part, it's not an act, it's genuine, it's earned, and it's unshakable. Chapter 4. Mystery is the name of the game. But here's the thing about Sigma males, they're also incredibly mysterious. They're like a closed book, man. You never really know what they're thinking or what they're gonna do next. They're not ones to spill their guts or share their deepest secrets with just anyone. They keep their cards close to their chest, and that air of mystery just adds to their allure. It's like they've got this whole other world going on inside their heads, and they're in no rush to let you in. And that's what makes them so intriguing, so captivating. You're constantly trying to figure them out like they're some kind of puzzle you just can't crack. Chapter 5. Brains over Brawn. But don't let that mysterious exterior fool you, these guys are sharp as hell. They're deep thinkers, always analyzing, always observing. They're the kind of guys who can hold a conversation on just about any topic, they're constantly learning, constantly expanding their knowledge base. They're not afraid to challenge the status quo, to question everything. They're not satisfied with surface-level understanding, they want to get to the heart of the matter. They use their intelligence to navigate the world, to make smart decisions and to achieve their goals. Chapter 6. Adapt, Overcome, Dominate. And speaking of goals, these guys are nothing if not adaptable. They're like chameleons, man, they can blend in anywhere, adapt to any situation. Throw them in the deep end, they'll learn to swim, put them in a new environment, they'll thrive. They don't shy away from challenges, they embrace them. This adaptability makes them incredibly resilient, they don't crumble under pressure, they rise to the occasion. They're like the phoenix, always rising from the ashes, stronger than before, they're survivors, man, they've seen it all, done it all, and they're still standing. Chapter 7. Non-conformist to the core. And that's because they don't play by anyone's rules but their own. They're not interested in fitting in, in conforming to societal expectations. They march to the beat of their own drum, and they don't care what anyone else thinks. They're not afraid to be different, to stand out from the crowd. This non-conformity is what makes them so unique, so intriguing. They're not afraid to challenge the status quo, to question everything. They're the ones who push boundaries, who break down barriers. They're the trailblazers, the pioneers, the ones who pave the way for others. I 
Chapter 8, Goal-Oriented Machines. And when it comes to goals, these guys are laser-focused. They know what they want, and they go after it with everything they've got. They're not afraid of hard work, they're not afraid of sacrifice. They're willing to put in the time, the effort, the dedication to achieve their dreams. They're not satisfied with mediocrity, they strive for greatness in everything they do. They set high standards for themselves, and they hold themselves accountable. They're not afraid to fail because they know that failure is just a stepping stone to success. Chapter 9. The Ice That Flows Within Now don't get me wrong, it's not that these guys are emotionless robots. They feel things deeply, but they're not ruled by their emotions. They've got this inner strength, this emotional resilience that allows them to weather any storm. They don't crumble under pressure, they don't fall apart when things get tough. They've got this quiet intensity about them, a stillness that speaks volumes. They're not afraid to be vulnerable, but they're also not afraid to be strong. They're comfortable with the full spectrum of human emotion, and that's what makes them so grounded, so relatable. Chapter 10. Eyes Wide Open Another thing about Sigma males, they're incredibly observant. They're like hawks, man, always watching, always paying attention. They pick up on the subtle cues, the unspoken language, the things that most people miss. They're constantly analyzing their surroundings, taking in information. They're not easily fooled. They see through the bullshit. They're perceptive, intuitive, and they've got a knack for reading people. This observational skill makes them incredibly aware of their surroundings, which is a huge advantage in any situation. Chapter 11, Strategic Masterminds. And speaking of advantages, these guys are strategic thinkers. They don't just react, they plan. They think several steps ahead, always anticipating the next move. They're like chess masters, always strategizing, always looking for the winning move. They're calculated, but not in a manipulative way. They just understand that life is a game of strategy, and they're determined to play it well. They're not afraid to take risks, but they're always calculated risks. They weigh the pros and cons, they assess the situation, and then they make their move. Chapter 12. Resilience is in their DNA, and if things don't go their way, they don't give up. They're resilient as hell, man. They bounce back from setbacks stronger than ever. They don't let failure define them. They use it as a learning experience. They're not afraid to dust themselves off, pick themselves up, and try again. They understand that life is full of ups and downs, and they're equipped to handle whatever comes their way. They're like a rubber band. The more you try to hold them down, the higher they'll bounce back. They're survivors. They're warriors, and they're not going down without a fight. Chapter 13, Quietly Charismatic. Now despite their introverted nature, Sigma males can be incredibly charismatic when they choose to be. They're not the life of the party, but they've got this quiet magnetism that draws people in. They're not afraid to be themselves, quirks and all, and that authenticity is what makes them so appealing. They're not trying to impress anyone, they're just being real. They're good listeners, they're empathetic, and they genuinely care about others. They're not afraid to have deep conversations, to talk about the things that matter. They're the kind of people you can have a beer with and talk for hours, or just sit in comfortable silence. Chapter 14. Loyalty Runs Deep. And finally, when a Sigma male lets you into their inner circle, you better believe they're loyal as hell. They're not afraid to commit, to be vulnerable, to let someone see their true selves. They're protective of their loved ones, they'd do anything for them. They're the kind of friends who will always have your back no matter what. They're not perfect, no one is, but they're loyal to a fault. They're the kind of people you can count on, through thick and thin. They're the real deal man, and that's why you should never mess with a Sigma male. Outrow Sigma Male, respect the game. So there you have it, 14 reasons why you should never mess with a Sigma Male. These guys are a force to be reckoned with. They're independent, self-reliant, confident, mysterious, intelligent, adaptable, non-conformist, goal-oriented, emotionally strong, observant, strategic, resilient, charismatic, and loyal. They're the whole package, man. They're the kind of guys you want in your corner, not on your bad side. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating insights. See you next time.